Please stop asking women when they're going to have children. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Dear Ashley Grace. I'm Ashley Grace. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. If it isn't, y'all, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for subscribing and viewing this video today. If you have not already, just go ahead and like and subscribe. Also, make sure you push that notification bell so you know when I post more videos. So I saw this Instagram post um, essentially saying, stop asking women when they're gonna have children. And then in the next slide, it just showed all the many reasons why women don't have children or don't wanna have children. And I just found it very pertinent to express myself and the reasons why I will not be having children. And this is why. First things first, um, I'm sipping on a nice glass of Moscato. I think the brand is Menage a Trois. So yeah, salute, cheers, and let's get into the video. So I made some notes to really get my point across. Uh, so if I'm looking over, that is what I'm doing. So first things first, as the reasons why I do not want to have children. Number one, I do not want the personal responsibility of having to care for another life, okay? Um, I think it's a huge responsibility when you have to be able to be all about another person, especially all about a, 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 a little human, you know what I mean? And I don't feel like everyone is cut out for that type of pressure or demand. And that's okay. I don't feel like anyone should feel like they have to be able to be in a place where they have to be able to take care of another being. I love children. However, um, and I even want to teach one day full time. But the thing about that is I get to give them back at the end of the day. So... I don't have to have the responsibility of having them all the time. They're loud. Children, babies, they're loud. The screaming, the screeches, not even the screaming, it's that <laughs> like that thing, I cannot do at all. I can't be the one that's responsible for that all the time. Another reason why they are extremely expensive children are expensive children are financially burdens i'm sorry they are there are already so many other things that adults and people have to deal with on a regular basis when it comes to their finances and just adding a child onto that i just feel like it's just an unnecessary thing that i shouldn't have to incur being um financially responsible for somebody else is very stressful to me that's a very stressful thought to me Another reason why, I don't want my body to be pregnant. I don't want the physical responsibility to have to bear a child. There's no part of me that wants to bear a child. I've seen so many birthing videos and that's just not a part of my ministry. I already know that that's not going to be something that I want to be a part of. There's no part of me that feels like there will be happiness in me pushing out a baby from my vagina or having it cut from out of my stomach. It just does not seem like a good time to me. It's not. And the last reason is due to health reasons. Um, due to health reasons that I have, um, if I were to have a child, it would be a high risk pregnancy. And for me, for me and the baby. And because of this, I don't want to have to put myself or my child through any uncert uncertainty if I don't have to. And just to conclude this video, I just find it interesting that as soon as a little girl is born, right, um, her first toy is a baby doll. And at that moment, she is being programmed and domesticated to learn how to care for another being, even though she's just being born herself. That women are being groomed to be mothers before they can even truly be individuals themselves. Um, as to when little boys, you know, they don't get little baby dolls and, and strollers. We give them Legos and Tonka trucks and Ninja Turtles. We allow them to be children first um, and to truly discover who they are. And I feel like women are automatically thrown into this world of knowing that this is what your life is going. This is, your, this is what your trajectory is going to be. 
um, you are to be a nurturer right off the bat. And I just feel like that's just, we're putting pressure on young women and girls as soon as they're born. And I just feel like that's very backwards. We should be giving young boys and, and little girls the same opportunities just to be kids. And I don't feel like women should feel bad for not wanting to have children. People, Life will put that pressure on you and I just feel like it really sucks. Everyone is not meant to be a mother. Everyone is not meant to give birth. I genuinely enjoy children. I genuinely enjoy my niece and my nephew and being able to be an extension of their village and knowing that they can come to me for anything and me also being able to nurture them as well, get that, that mothering nurturing without actually having to have a child. And I genuinely enjoy that. And I just feel like that should be enough. Like women shouldn't just have to feel like their trajectory in life should be. When I was in, when I was 18, this is how I thought that my life was going to go, right? I thought I was going to go to college, find my husband, get married all by the age of 25 and have 2.5 kids all by 25. And when I actually did turn 25, the thought of even being married scared the crap out of me. So to think that that was going to be my life and it's so interesting. Like you, it, life, you have to experience life. You have to have life experiences and everybody is different. Some, some, some women, you know, find their mates and don't immediately, they want to have children. They want to get married and they, and this is their life. For me, I am very comfortable and okay with knowing that I am going to live a full life um, being um, the quote unquote rich auntie, which I will be, um, to, my, to, to my nieces and my nephews. Um, and I'm okay with that and I love that for me. And I love that other women wanna have the children and I love that for them. But I don't want anyone, life, family, friends, to pressure me into feeling that I'm somehow not adequate if I don't have, or somehow I'm inadequate for not wanting to have children. I am a full person with or without them. I am accomplished with or without them. And I will continue to be growing and thriving without children. Thank you all so much for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> But thank you all so much for coming to this video. Um, like I said before, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, please go ahead and like the video, share the video, and make sure that you press that notification bell so you know when I post videos next. Thank you all so much for viewing Dear Ashley Grace, and I'll see y'all next time. Salute! Bye, guys.